Just a quick announcement before we get started, there is another channel that I have called Northwest Trees Projects. This is where I basically upload sneak peeks of projects that I'm working on, things that I have released updates for. I'll do an update video basically, and there's different uh, mods that I've actually started recording for. Um, a couple of them are actually not even published yet. So if you're interested in seeing the, th the interesting mods and stuff that I'm working on with M Crater and some other things, then this is the channel for you. Uh, without further ado, let's get started. Hello guys and welcome back to another M Crater tutorial. So today what I'm going to be covering is a um, little trick that you can do with a couple extra blocks with the custom, like the dependency name blocks. Uh, you can put the, uh, basically a um, certain uh, click, I think it's called hit X, hit Y and hit Z to basically calculate the hit position. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated than basically just, you know, putting some stuff together, but I do have like a small demonstration thing that I set up for every side and every rotation. So currently this block is facing south. There's also uh, up facing directions, down facing directions. I've mapped all of the different directions, even the ones that have basically um, not just like the X uh, direction, like the northeast southwest but uh, up and down as well so all these different uh, rotations are all filled up on the side so for example if we place uh, this one like this then that's going to be different than the one that we place like this so you can kind of see the colors are a lot different on the tops uh, the sides aren't too much different actually so that's fairly easy to do but um, the ones like the top and stuff and then when you do the direction up it's completely different I mean you can kind of see on the side here that it's going to be different because the block rotates um, on one of the axes so basically what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've mapped all of these things now we can basically just hit a side one-fifth of the actual block now this can be customized uh, to whatever you need obviously but um, basically each side has its own color and if we click on this one, this is a completely different rotation. So you can kind of see that same colors. This is red, green, yellow, and blue. So it's all set up. Um, you can use this actual workspace to kind of figure out what positions you actually need for the system. I do have some charts, but uh, it's even with the charts, it's a little bit hard to figure out from my personal experience but it does help with actually setting it up if you take the time to actually read it <laughs> it's just it takes a long time to actually set up all the different rotations so I'm going to provide the procedures for this block and I'm going to provide the work workspace as well as the charts in the description uh, well in the download so you guys can actually use all that so it's not too complicated we will go into the system right now and then we'll take a look at that so the script is actually really large uh, for all the different directions so I've had to break it up into like six different parts one for each direction uh, this will make sure that other people can actually import the procedures and that it won't like be heavy on performance either so basically what I've done is the north direction for the block being facing north is going to be running this script the one for east is going to be running this script south west up and down so all of those are basically different for the coordinates that's what's basically actually the root of all of the different rotations uh, when we're actually right clicking on the block what I'm doing is I'm basically running each one of these particular procedures on the base of the rotation. So north is being run north, east, east, southwest. I'm also running it on server side. So it one helps with performance and two, it only needs to run on one side. It doesn't have to run on both. So there's no point running it on the client side as well. So I basically run all of these things from server side. Uh, it will help just generally with performance and stuff as well as make sure that there's no conflicts or anything. So let's take a look at the trigger and we'll kind of see what we have for the different blocks. So I am using X, Y, and Z, world, entity, direction, 
block state and the two or the three different hit um, block dependencies. Now, those can basically be obtained by going to the advanced tab and then going down to the um, number dependency. It says dependency name. It's the dark blue one. And then you basically just put in hit X. So lowercase hit and then capital X. So you would do that for Z and Y as well. And then you can basically get those dependencies for the, the hit location where you're actually right clicking on. So that's basically what I've done. Now, this is just basically calling those procedures in. Uh, let's take a look at the north direction. And it's all minimized at the moment. Uh, so if you want to actually expand it, you basically right click on the block and then you go expand block and then it will kind of show you the script for the different sides. So basically how the script works is the hit position will get the actual coordinates of the block and then it will calculate the basically the math of uh, the point form of the axis point. So how far away from the axis point it is. So for example, if we click on the south side, it will be more of a one than it will be a zero. So the range is be basically between one and zero. So if you divide one and zero by, or one divided by 16, which is how many pixels you have, um, that will basically give you a chart very similar to this. So as you can see, we have these different numbers and the charts basically indicate what direction they are facing. So what, uh, what basic, well, basic platform it is and what axis point. So if you have your color blue, like I do on my texture, uh, if I open up the texture, all right, so if we basically take a look at our texture, the blue is at the very bottom corner. So that's where this access point would be. It would be right here in general. So basically this is where the access point of that texture would be. That's really important because that's how the whole script basically functions. It's going to calculate the location for that. And if we go into our script, you can kind of see this is where the blue access point is. So when we're right clicking on it, it'll print out blue. Uh, you can basically set up any event that you want here in these little boxes where it basically sends the message, but the coordinates are going to be the part that actually makes it do what it needs to do. Um, now you might notice that the coordinate here is for the blue side. Uh, it's the target direction face so or trigger direction face what this does is it basically uh, calculates what face that we're clicking on and then it's going to basically say okay if it's the north side then run this script so we have the north side actually set up this is the north direction so we know that the north side is going to be horizontal and vertical for y so Y is actually a zero to one, where the horizontal, which is your X, is one to zero. You can kind of see based on the colors that I've provided for the option, the, the different, uh, one's flipped, one isn't. It just makes it easier to kind of calculate. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to basically know that this one is going to be 0.5 five to one where this one is going to be um, basically zero to one so in in short what we're doing is we're just going to be drawing this block box right here so if I just choose a different color that I haven't used before I'll just kind of outline what block so it's basically this one right here that's where we're basically going because it's one to 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 to 1 and then it is 0 to 0 0.5 so if we go into the thing we can see that this starts at 0 0.5 goes to 1 and then it goes from 0 for y to 0 0.5 so that's basically how it is 
we have to test for the range that we want the amount of blocks this will kind of draw a shape that we can basically right click on so in short this will get the coordinate with the point form we need to actually test for the coordinate now we can't just like put 0 0.5 in there or it will basically test for the coordinates at the zero location in the world so that's not going to work so what we have to do is we have to get the block location and then add that with the value of offset that we want to actually test for so that's basically all that there it's doing is just calculating all that for each side so if you wanted to actually change something like say maybe you didn't want a full strip like a full quarter or something we'll go back to north and then we'll kind of calculate the one that we might be able to adjust a little bit so this is north maybe we don't want it the full width of 0 0.5 maybe what we want is just that little sliver uh, maybe this little sliver right here so what we could do um, well actually we'll do this little sliver because the other parts occupied so what we can do is we can basically go ahead and test for 0 0.2 point or 0 0.25 actually it would be 0 0.75 and 1 so that would be on our x-axis so our x-axis would be 0 0.75 and 1 so that will basically do a little sliver compared to the full block that we had like that so we'll be able to click on that now this will be only for the north direction uh, for the block as well as the north facing direction that we right click on the face so let's go ahead and save this and then we'll go ahead in back in game and I'll kind of demonstrate that it works alright so we need to make sure that the block is facing north we can actually test what direction that we're facing so if we're facing south the block should face north and then we want the north side so this side that we're actually facing on so if we click on over here it's not going to print out a message because it's not going to do that but if we click on this side that you can see that it will click on blue so that's basically how it works is it's going to print out just that half of the square right here uh, we can click over here it won't but if we click over here it will so that's basically what it does um, it's, it's something that you'll have to figure out where you need to put your things. Uh, it's just the way that it is. Um, not much that I can do to actually help you with individual parts of how the little faces and stuff. But you can definitely use the script. And this texture, I'll also provide the texture as a template. So you guys can kind of figure out where all the block pieces and stuff are. You might be able to draw on it and kind of see where you need your buttons or whatever. So some ideas of using this, you could use machines or whatever maybe you have some sort of block that you want to do certain mechanics with and uh, you can click on one of these squares or something like that or a certain pixel for a button or something like that to turn the block on or off you could do it to change its state uh, its kind of function I guess so there's a whole bunch of different um, properties that you can actually go ahead and assign this to so there's a lot of interesting ways that this could be used so aside of that if you were new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out